Hey babes, this video is going to show you how to recreate the Rita Ora Poison music video makeup look. is rocking a very very 60s makeup look with fluttery lashes and nude lips I love the looks that she had on the video and I love the song as well and I hope that you enjoyed the rest of the tutorial guys okay so this part of the tutorial you don't have to follow but basically um, I do this in a lot of transformations I just covered my brows so that I can follow Rita's brow shape a little bit more accurately and I covered my sideburns as well. So I'm just gonna set that with powder before I apply foundation on top. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to be using my Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Foundation in Beige Medium. And I got this from Italy when I went to Venice. They had Sephora's there, so I went to Sephora and got myself this. And I'm also gonna be using the Maybelline Dream Nude Air Foam Foundation on the perimeters of my face just to warm up my skin tone a little bit. Okay, so I've got one eye done. I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. And the brow product that I'm gonna be using is one of my favorites. I love this so much. It's the Elamasca Precision Brow Gel in Stair. And use my favorite Elamasca liner brush just to draw on some Rita eyebrows. Rita's eyebrows are a lot thinner than mine and a lot more arch. So I'm just gonna copy that onto my face. And then I'm going to redefine and highlight that using my OCC Skin Conceal in Y1. I'm quickly just going to set that with my powder. This is the Rimmel Stain Matte. For the crease, I'm just going to add in my NYX Matte Bronzer. All over the lid, I am going to add NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, which is a white base. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. Um, I've got an event. So guys, I am going to have a makeup tutorial and question and answer event in Meadow Hall in Tuesday. 23rd of June 2015 so it's for Regis Express and it's going to be held in The Oasis in Meadow Hall in Sheffield so if you live in the Yorkshire Sheffield sort of Nottinghamshire area those are sort of close to Sheffield and Meadow Hall I'd love you to all come along I'll be doing a live makeup tutorial doing makeup and you can also ask me questions we can take pictures and I'll get to meet you guys and this is going to go on from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m in Meadow Hall, 23rd of June. There's actually a limited amount of places, so if you want to come, please comment below, and also I'll leave you a link for the website. Okay, so basically I will leave a link on the description bar on the website where you can reserve a place to go to the event. Reservation is free, but on the day it's a fee of eight pounds. There'll be tea and cakes, and you can talk to me, and you can meet me, and you can watch me do makeup live. Back to the tutorial, I'm going to take my Sugar Pill eyeshadow palette and take Taco eyeshadow, which is a matte white, and just apply that all over the lid. And apply that to the inner corner as well. You want this to be super white. I think Taco by Sugar Pill is the best white I've ever tried. A lot of white eyeshadows are very unpigmented and this one is the best I think. Okay, now on to the difficult part. This is the liner. I'm going to be using the NYX Two Timer Eyeliner. It's got the coal end, so I'm going to apply that to the waterline. 
and it's also got a pen end. I'm gonna use that to create the crease shape. 1960s makeup consisted a lot of harsh liner into the crease to redefine the eye and make the eyes look really, really big. You wanna make this really crisp and really sharp. Basically, you curve into the crease and also you wing it out on the outer corner, so try and take your time with this. If you go wrong, it's just makeup and you can wipe it off and start again. Once you've got a baseline, you wanna thicken out the middle portion. And then I'm just going to line my eyes and create a winged liner look and you want to make sure that the line is really thin as well. Now I'm just going to add mascara. This is the Gifted Mascara from Tarte. For my lashes, I'm going to be adding the Aura Lashes in Barbie, which are mink lashes. And then I'm going to stack this spiky pair from Brett Rocks. That's the eyes done. I'm going to move on with concealer. Rita has a lot of light on the center of her face, so I'm going to be adding my Vichy Derma Blend in 25 Nude onto the center panels of my face. And to set the face, I'm just going to go in with Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Silky Beige. I'm going to mattify the face because Rita's face is very matte on the video. But not too much because I don't want the face to look overly caked up. I'm going to warm up the face even more now using my NYX bronzer again. I'm not really using this to contour that much. I'm just using it to warm up the face. The only place that I'm going to contour is my nose slightly. For blush, Rita looks like she's not wearing that much, just the pinky colour, so I'm going to be using Ella Mask and Naked Rose. For the lips, Rita is wearing a pinky nude lip, and she's not wearing any lip liner or anything like that from the looks of it, so I'm going to use Gerard Cosmetics in Buttercup. Okay, so that's the makeup done. I'm just gonna be putting a wig on and my outfit. This is the final look, you guys. I added these round sunglasses because Rita was wearing them at the beginning of the video. Ah, oh, they're from New Look, by the way. On my nails, I actually painted my nails for the video. And the nail polish that I used was the Mimi Me, Me, Me Nail Collection in Ambitious, which is a nude color. I'll also leave a link in the description box for the outfit that I'm wearing today. It's very monochrome, it's very 60s, and it's very mod. And as a little reminder, I will leave a link in the description bar for the event link for my Q&A and makeup tutorial event in Sheffield. So this has been Mods Panther, the Prince of Vanity as Rita Ora. I hope that you enjoyed the video, guys, and comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if you want. And damn it, subscribe. Bye, guys.